In next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create watershed data using InfoSwim Subcategory Manager. The Subcategory Manager is available as an extension of InfoSwim, which will help to calculate most of um, physical parameters associated with the watershed or subcatchment um, from a digital terrain data. For those of you who is not familiar with InfoSwim, to active InfoSwim in ArcMap, first of all, you make sure um, the extensions activated, InfoSwim is ticked, and InfoSwim 2 bars can be activated by selecting the InfoSwim Control Center here. To access InfoSwim Subcategory Manager, go to InfoSwim Main Menu, Tools, Add on Extension Manager. And here is a list of extension modules. Subcatchment manager is one of it. Click on run. That gives you the subcatchment manager. Okay, here's my model and here's my elevation data, which is covers network. And subcatchment manager would allow me to create watershed or subcatchments. Um, the first step is go to Subcatch Manager Watershed and the first thing to select is Create Flow Directions. So we'll use your original LIDAR or DTM um, data. Um, specify a folder, output folder. Keep the normally local drive is preferred. Keep it short, a file name short. Um, here you can type in the output raster DTM flow directions save and the flow direction look like this it's a rather colorful uh, raster date next step is to identify things to the flow direction raster data again put it in the same folder And then the things can be filled in by clicking Fill Things. In here, um, you need to pay a bit more attention. It's input elevation surface, so it will fill in the sync to the original DTM, not the flow direction master. Okay. So after the sync has been filled in, the flow direction need to be regenerated using the new data, new digital elevation data. Okay. Um, for this particular example, I don't really have any things to be filled in. So I can go to next step to create another raster called flow accumulation raster. The flow accumulation raster require flow direction raster data. Okay. And again, put in the same folder, you can name it as DTM flow accumulation, for example. Okay, so the flow accumulation raster data look like this. It's the white line are the stream lines going from upstream, downstream, how they generally go downhill. Um, so now we have created two raster data that are needed. Um, to generate watershed. So the flow direction data and the flow accumulation data. There are options here that you can use to automatically generate SAP catchment using human hole as centroid. If you choose the default is threshold, if you choose snap nodes, it will snap to the um, junction nodes and um, it will generate subcatchment using the Manho Accentroid. Um, this particular example, I'm using the default options. Okay, so that's how you create um, subcatchments for the entire network. Subcatchments being created will be populated in the InfoSwim subcatchment layer and the attribute information for each subcatchment can be viewed in the InfoSwim browser. 
There are other functions in Subcategory Manager would allow you to populate this information, the physical parameters associated with subcatchment um, automatically. So now we have the subcatchment. We would like to um, calculate the percentage of impairs within the subcatchment. If you have a land use data in this particular example, it's called parcels and it contains a different type of land use. They have houses, maybe green field um, or um, paved road. So each type of land use will have a unique ID, which is here, land use code, and they all have description to it. So in here, you can base on the description and give a percentage of impairs. Info um, swim subcatcher manager will automatically intersect these two layers between the land use and subcatchment and calculate the percentage of impurities within individual subcatchment. Okay, so I have my parcel layer like this, showing a different type of land use as different colors. And once that's been calculated for this particular, for example, if I select this one, uh, for this particular subcatchment, it has 68.8% uh, of impurities coverage. Other information such as um, catchment, subcatchment width or slope can also be calculated. And um, infiltration also can be populated. For example, um, you have a soil layer like what I have here. Each type of soil you have a unique ID. You need to specify that um, field. And then populate the soil data here. Click on calculate. That will calculate the infiltration, the soil type of soil, the coverage within the subcatchment. So let's have a look at this subcatchment infiltration. So for type B, C, D, percentage of coverage is calculated for you. Okay. The soil data I have here is like this. And other useful um, functions such as cut raster. If you have a small area that interest of interest, uh, you can cut raster, just uh, cover the smaller network. Um, also, the subcatchment layer is available as a shape file after you populated all these um, attribute information. And, it will be stored in the shape file, can be exported, available just as S3 shape file. Um, one final thing that's worth to note is worth making uh, setting up the project preference, making sure the auto area calculation is ticked here. And once the subcatchment has been generated, the subcatchment area will be automatically calculated. Okay. Enjoy using subcatchment manager.